We need to eat to get the energy to run, and jump, and play. We need to eat to mend ourselves when we are hurt, and we need to eat to grow. We have three young gorillas. The youngest gorilla we have is Shanga, and she's six months old now. She was about a kilo and a half when she was born and about this high, and now she's about this high and about three and a half kilos. And this has all been on just feeding from her mother. The mother's milk contains everything that the baby gorilla needs to grow. But babies eventually need to move on from milk to have more solid food. And even from before this baby was born, all of the teeth were already there. They were in position, high up in the gums, just waiting for the right moment to come through, starting from when the baby is about six months old. Here's some speeded up film where you can see the top two teeth actually growing and pushing through the gums. This takes about six weeks to happen, and no wonder babies cry when they're teething. part of a healthy lifestyle, but so is food and what you eat. Think of your body like a car. If you put petrol in a car, it will go. But if you put the wrong type of petrol in a car, it will start to go wrong. 60% of what you eat should be carbohydrates. This will give you energy and are foods like potatoes, rice and pasta. You also need protein, which will make you grow strong and healthy. And these are foods like seafood, meat, and lentils. And finally, for pudding, I avoid sugary, fatty things like chocolate and cream cakes, and I go for fruit. All over the world, people eat a wide variety of foods. But whatever you eat, it's important to eat a good range of different foods, to eat a varied diet. Gorillas eat to eat so they have energy, so they can repair themselves, it helps them to get over illnesses. Gorillas eat a large variety of vegetables and fruit. They eat a selection of things like lettuces, tomatoes, things like oranges, apples, pears, spring onions, pineapple, basically anything that's vegetarian. Vegetarian means that the gorillas never eat meat. 
This is for the penguins. We have got one baby penguin, his name's Chestnut. He's about six months old now. His mum and dad didn't want anything to do with him when he was born, so we had to look after him and ham rear him. That involves basically feeding him fish. Um, we, we put them into his mouth and then he swallows them. Between 20 and 30 fish each day. He's a very hungry penguin, very demanding. If he didn't eat, he would lose all his body weight, get very sick, and then eventually he could die. We need teeth to bite and chew our food so that we can swallow it. We have here the skull of a lion. And you can see the lion has different teeth for different functions. Here at the front we have killing teeth or canine teeth which actually break the neck of the antelopes that they feed on. And back here the cheek teeth are called carnassials and they're designed to actually slice through meat like a pair of scissors. So they're very, very sharp They're very indeed. sharp. Here we have the skull of a horse. And if we look at its cheek teeth, its molar teeth, you'll see that they're quite a different shape to those of the lion. Instead of being like the blades of a scissors, they are in fact broad and flat, and they have these ridges running across them. And they're designed to actually grind up grass into very small pieces. Down here. It's massive. That is just one tooth from an elephant, and it needs that to grind up the vast amounts of vegetation that it eats every day. It's so heavy. Look at the root on that. It's massive. And what is your favourite set of teeth? My animal? favourite set of teeth in an animal are the giant pandas, mm -hmm. because the giant panda evolved from the same group of animals as the lion. It's basically a carnivore, but because it feeds on bamboo, its teeth have evolved a quite different shape. They're broad and flat, rather like the horse's teeth, for grinding up that very tough bamboo. But how do animals keep their teeth clean? Well, mainly it's by feeding on the right food, which helps keep their teeth clean. But some animals do actually have tooth problems, just like us, really? but not as frequently. Lots of children like fizzy drinks, juices, and squashes, but dentists are getting very worried about the damage that these drinks can do to teeth. All these drinks contain sugar. Bacteria can change the sugar into acid, which damages the enamel coating of the teeth. The teeth then start to rot. Some fizzy drinks are designed to have a high sugar content for energy. Researchers found a standard Leucosate can had the equivalent of 27 lumps of sugar. Coke, 11 and a half, Pepsi, 11, Tango, 10 and a half, and Fanta, 10.